Hey, hey, y'all. It's Ed here. Thought I'd check in for a, uh, another quick video, a quick update with you guys on where I'm at with Beast and what I'm doing. Uh, last time I checked in, I wasn't doing so well. I hopped on the scale in the morning uh, on day 44 and just wanted to see sort of the progress and sort of got in my head about it, psyched myself out um, and just needed to clear my head and really start refocusing, right? Um, and, and I think it happens to, to everybody in the best of it. It's it's how can we pick back up and keep running and keep that pace going. So it was really good. I had a rest day the following day. I needed that rest day. Uh, picked up the, the next week and been going strong and, and running through it. So increased my weights. A couple of the things that I've been doing to, to really sort of just more so focus on making sure that, that I've got the proper form, proper techniques. Um, I work out in front of a mirror so I can I can see where where I'm where I'm cheating or if I'm cheating uh, with some movements right if you're doing if you're doing bicep curls and you're standing there with the with the dumbbells and you're curling them up great if you're you know swinging your body into them to get them up not so good so uh, some of those things and I've also you know I've also video recorded myself doing some of the moves where I've uh, I thought that I was in in awesome perfect form and found out I wasn't so uh, some some little tips there to, to be able to help you out if you really if you want to see what you look like best way to do it is to get it on camera and then watch it afterwards uh, and it takes up you know 30 seconds to set it up but uh, definitely well worth it and uh, I'd encourage you guys to do so and if you want to share them share them love to see them um, Anyway, the other thing that's going on is, is I'm about to get into the cut phase. So um, I've watched, as we talked last week, you know, I got in my head. I, I didn't see the progress that I wanted to see from a muscle perspective and from a weight gain perspective. Um, and, you know, I've, I felt like I was eating a whole bunch of food and, and doing all the right things, which I think I am. Uh, and I just sort of noticed some of my, you know, around my midsection has gotten a little pudgier and my face has gotten a little pudgier. Um, so I start the cut phase. I'm going to get into dropping my calories from 4,000 down to 2,400. Uh, and I'm going to take my macronutrient ratio where I was eating really, really high on carbs. I was having about 50% of my calories coming from uh, whole grains or fruits. Uh, and I'm going to cut that pretty drastically. So to give you an example, I was having uh, 12 servings of fruits a day um, before. And now I'm going to cut that back to having three servings of fruits. And I was having, I want to say, nine servings of carbs, uh, brown rice, whole grain, whatever you want to call it, oatmeal. I'm going to cut that back to having three. Uh, three? Two. Sorry, two servings. Uh, so it, it, will be, it will be really interesting. Um, I'm going to see how my body reacts to it. A lot of people don't like their carbs. I do. Uh, I use it as fuel. I use it as energy, and it keeps me going. So this is going to be really, really high on the protein side of things and really, really low on the carbs. And the concept is that I'm going to be using that fat, the stuff that I've stored, that I've, that I've packed away and eating 4,000 calories and doing this um, and building some of the muscle up. Uh, I've also gained some of some of the extra weight, right? The, the fuel or the food has got to go someplace. And so now I'm at the cut phase where I'm going to start using that fuel. And what happens is the muscles are then going to pop. I'm going to have more definition and more size. Uh, so I'm sure a little bit of it's going to get cut away. And they actually talk about that. Some of the muscles that is, is going to get cut away. And they talk about that inside of the Beast book. Um, but it's one of those things that it, you've just sort of, sort of got to go through. So I'm going to monitor this. Uh, the 4,000 to 2,400 calories deficit is going to be pretty big. Um, and and that's, that's sort of daunting to me. And so I'm going to play with it. I'm going to watch it for a week, see how I feel. And I'm going to listen to my body. And if I need to add more carbs, then guess what? I'm going to add more carbs. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to give it at least a week to, to run through and, and play with. So we'll go from there. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well. I've been, you know, obviously had a bad day. I jumped back on uh, and, and stayed firm with the course. And that's, that's what we need to do. We need to, you know, as I said in the last video, we've got to get out of our head about it. When we, when we psych ourselves out, you know, we trip up. We're human. We're going to do that. But if we can get out of our head about it and just keep showing up, keep pressing play, keep going to the gym, keep going swimming, keep doing whatever you're doing to, to move forward and eating well and, and working towards your goals, that's, that's what's going to make it happen. And so um, you guys saw I tripped up last week, um, and, and I, I was psyched out for a day, day and a half. Um, and the following morning, I, I needed to get up and keep going. And so I did, and I found some ways to be able to, uh, to encourage me, motivate me along a, a little bit more. And we talked about those when I started the video. So anyway, keep showing up, guys. You guys are doing great. And uh, yeah, love to hear, love to hear uh, what's going on with you. Thanks. Bye.